One stock that has been in a free fall year to date is Starbucks. This is a company that's currently trading at $82.55 per share, but we can see they are down about 29% year to date. Now, obviously the broader market as a whole during that same time period is down pretty large, but Starbucks has been fighting some personal issues as well. One of those big issues is they have recently suspended their stock buyback program, which is something you never want to see as an investor. Now, they are also fighting unionization efforts right now, and they're not going to know the financial impacts of that for quite some time. And then also we have something to consider, which is they are reportedly considering selling out of their UK businesses, which is never something you want to see as well. But because of all this, Starbucks is trading at a lower price, which may potentially provide a value opportunity if you're a value or dividend investor. As we can see, they're trading as high as about $116 per share earlier this year, but again, currently at $82.55. So in this video, we're going to be jumping into my stock valuation spreadsheet to see if we can find the intrinsic value of Starbucks. And on this spreadsheet, we have four different valuation models. We have Graham's valuation, a discounted cash flow model, we have a multiples valuation, and then we have a dividend discount model, and all four of these valuations will roll into our output tab. So let's go ahead and jump over to our stock screener. If you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and come up here and plug in Starbucks' stock ticker and hit enter. All of this data is gonna automatically load in. This chart we're looking at is currently an 800 day chart and it's almost comical to look at this run up and then the decline. But let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Let's say we wanna look at a 250 day change. We can see exactly where their peak was and before their huge decline. If we come over here, we can see some dividend data currently paying out $1.96 per share, which gives them a dividend yield of 2.37%. Now this is one of the great things about this decline in stock price, a much higher starting dividend yield at 2.37% company currently has a payout ratio of about 50%, so it is a little bit higher than you typically like to see, but really for a company such as Starbucks, I don't think that's a red flag. I think this is still a very safe dividend. Now, the 20 and 50 day moving averages are up slightly. They've grown just a little bit in their share price over the past few weeks, but their 200 day moving average is still down about 12%. One year return of negative 28% and two year return of 10%. Now, analysts currently have a price target of about $93.93 and a beta that's pretty close to one, so it will typically follow the volatility of the market. But let's go ahead and jump into our first valuation, which is going to be Graham's valuation, which is a valuation model invented by Benjamin Graham, who is one of Warren Buffett's mentors, also the author of the greatest investing book of all time, The Intelligent Investor. And in that book, he gives us a formula to calculate intrinsic value, which is listed right here. So the first thing we're going to need is our earnings per share for Starbucks, which we have lifted, listed right here. We then take the price to earnings of a company with no growth, which is seven. And also we take the growth rate projection. And after digging into this a little bit, I think a growth rate projection of 11.5 is appropriate for this situation. I then multiply that by 4.4, which is the average yield of AAA corporate bonds. And then we divide all this by Y, which is the current yield of AAA corporate bonds. And at the time of this video, it is currently sitting at four. When you plug all of this together, we come to an intrinsic value of $76 per share. Now the current yield of AAA corporate bonds has risen pretty dramatically over the past few months. Earlier this year, it was as low as about 2.8. So I fit into here, you can see we're going to get a huge difference in our intrinsic value. So that's just complete. Uh, depending completely on market conditions. The current market, we come to an intrinsic value of $76 per share, which is pretty close to the current price. But let's go ahead and look at our discounted cash flow model. And the idea behind our discounted cash flow model is we should be able to value a company based on how much future free cash flow they are going to produce. So in order to predict the future free cash flow, we need to project a growth rate to those future free cash flows. So what I've done is I've looked at the historical free cash flow for this company so I can see the growth rate for it year over year. We can see huge jumps after uh, over each year, we have a year where it was negative 543%, and then a year where we saw a huge jump. So obviously, this is not going to be the actual growth rate of the future free cash flows. We're going to stick with that same growth rate projection that I used for Graham's valuation. We apply that growth rate to the future free cash flows of the company and the terminal value, which is the sum of all the future free cash flows past the year 2030. I then applied a present value to all those future free cash flows and added them together right here. I added the company's cash and cash equivalents and subtracted out their total debt to come to their equity value. I then took the equity value and divided by the number of shares outstanding to come to a discounted cash flow price per share of right at $105. Now let's go ahead and look at our multiples valuation model. And the idea behind the multiple valuation model is using a multiple like price to earnings, we should be able to value a company like Starbucks by seeing how the market is valuing companies that are similar in structure to it. So we're looking at companies like McDonald's, Yum Brands, and Domino's Pizza, 
We're taking their stock price and dividing by the earnings per share to find their price to earnings multiple. Once we have the price to earnings multiples, we're gonna take the average of those price to earnings multiple and multiply it by the earnings per share of Starbucks to come to an intrinsic value of $101 per share. So as we can see, this company appears to be undervalued based on our multiples valuation. We can see companies that are similar to Starbucks have an average price to earnings of 26.7. If we jump back over to our stock screener, we will scroll down just a little bit and we can see Starbucks is currently trading at price to earnings of 22.1. So it makes sense. Apparently they're a little bit undervalued based on that valuation. But let's go ahead and look at our last valuation model, which is our dividend discount model. And now if you're a value dividend investor like me, this valuation is gonna carry a lot of weight and it's gonna allow you to see the dividend growth of this company over time. So the goal of this valuation is you should be able to value a company based on how much they pay out in dividends and how much that dividend is increasing. So what I've done is I plug in the quarterly dividend payouts over the past five years for Starbucks. So I can see how much they pay out yearly. This allows me to see a year over year dividend growth rate. So we can see we had a huge year at 20% dividend growth. That's absolutely phenomenal. Year is about 14%. Now it's dropped off just a little bit over the past few years, but it's still extremely good. So we've seen an average growth rate of about 13.13% over the past few years. Now moving forward, I am applying a growth rate of 6.5% because we are projecting this very far into the future, but also with the short-term economic headwinds, I think it will be slightly lower moving forward as we can see with this trend right here. So I'm applying a growth rate of about 6.5%. After applying a discount rate of 8.5%, we come to a dividend discount model price per share of $104.37. But let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. And here on our output tab, we can see all four of our valuations, grams at 76, multiples at 101, discounted cash flow at 104, and dividend discount model at 104 as well. So we can see we have three valuation models that are really close to that you know, 101 to 104 range. And then we have Graham's valuation, which is about $76. And again, a lot of that is due to the current market conditions with the current yield of AAA corporate bonds. But if we jump back over to our output tab, we can see if we average all four of these valuations together, we come to an intrinsic value of $96.68. And the current price of this company is $82.55. But as a value dividend investor, we do always want to apply a margin of safety. So let's say we wanted to be really safe and apply a 30% margin of safety. We can see based off of this, our acceptable buy price for this company is about $67 per share. Let's go ahead and say we're a little bit more aggressive when we apply a 20% margin of safety. Our acceptable buy price is $77 per share. So it's not quite at that level, but it has been over the past few weeks in this range. So you may get an opportunity if you think this is a fair valuation. But right now I do have a few shares of Starbucks in my portfolio, but if it drops even lower, I will consider adding more. But go ahead and let me know if you own Starbucks or if you plan on buying it in the future. If you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet, go ahead and jump over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.